Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs, and thanks very much to Bandai Namco Entertainment America for the opportunity to test drive the Zeta Plus A2. Uh, that is the new PSN edition to Gun and Battle Operation 2 for this week, and it looks pretty good. I like the Zeta Plus line, so I'm curious to see how this works. It is a 600 cost general, uh, uses the same basic color scheme as the C1. Uh, it has a melee priority of two, it is ground only. It does not have any compatibilities, so no like bonus to uh, uh, bonus to like boost efficiency or anything like that. Um, it has twenty thousand hit points, nineteen ballistic resistance, twenty nine beam resistance, twenty melee resistance, thirty seven range strength, twenty three melee strength, movement speed one thirty, high speed maneuver speed, so boost speed of two fifteen. Thruster gauge of 75 and turning speed of 72. It has 16 uh, close range slots, 18 medium, and 10 long range slots. Uh, at 710 enhancement points, you get an extra point of beam defense, 1420, an extra point of range strength, 1890, an extra 100 shield hit points, 2370, you get all your expansion slots, one each in the three locations. Um, five extra beam defense if you uh, pay DP and uh, enhancement kits to get past the first uh, lock at 4740. And if you fully unlock it and get 70, uh, 110 enhancement points, you will get another five ranged strength. So it's not bad. Let's take a look at what it can do. Okay, it uses a charging EPAC beam rifle, very similar, I'm pretty sure, to the... Uh, Resale rifle that the A1 uses. 1,500 damage per shot, 6 ammo, uh, th range 300 meters, cooldown time between shots about a little over half a second, 12 second reload time, focus time 2 seconds. Uh, ammo based normal fire will not suppress, but weapon is easy to handle. Focused fire offers suppression, but multiple rounds are consumed. Okay, yeah, so probably it'll take 2 or 3 uncharged shots to stun but it is probably possible to do. Um, A2 Beam Saber, it has the standard description, so presumably no special abilities. Uh, power of 2400, cooldown time between swings, two seconds, so a little faster than some of the other things we've been looking at lately. Head Vulcans are 110 power per shot, ammo of 60, range 175 meters, Cooldown time zero, but you know, we'll have to see the actual rate of fire when we go testing. And reload time five and a half seconds. Pretty good all around. Um, beam, two beam cannons on the hips, a uh, thousand damage per shot, heat rate 80%, range 400 meters, cooldown time between uh, shots four seconds, and overheat time 13 seconds. So I have a feeling these are going to fire. Well, let's see what the description says. Fast rate of fire that suppresses on hit, but must stop to fire. Okay. Cooldown time of four seconds is interesting. We'll have to see if they uh, work any differently than the A1 and C1s, because, yeah, that description does not match what they do. So, oops, wrong button. It has a high mega cannon. Nice. Okay, so 2,800 damage, heat uh, rate 95%, range of 400 meters, cooldown time between shots... Uh, Five and a half seconds, overheat 25 seconds, and focus time is three. A suppressive high mega cannon must focus and stop to fire, but can move while in focus. When completing additional focus via the released ranged output limiter skill, continuous damage is dealt. Okay, so it has uh, it has a two-step charge and has a, uh, a Garabi type continuous damage beam when, uh, uh, like the double Zeta does, when... Uh, you charge it to the second level. Okay, um, the uh, Zeta Plus A2 Long Beam Saber, 2400 damage, cooldown between uh, swings is 4 seconds. Uh, melee weapon forms uh, by adjusting the beam rifle's output into a long blade ideal for slicing up foes. Okay, um, 5000 points to the shield, it is a large shield. And let's take check out Wave Rider mode. Um, it has a di slightly different version of the cannons, as you might expect. Uh, 600 damage per hit, 15% heat rate, 
250 meter range, 14 second overheat, and pin down enemies. Yep, high potency and rapid fire. That's pretty good. The shield exists, and the beam rifle uh, is still available, but is uh, is but shares an ammo gauge and all that with the robot uh, mode version or mobile suit uh, mode version. So, yeah, you can, if you're reloading, transforming will only get you another set of uh, beam cannons. All right, so let me shortcut this real quick. I usually put my bayonets down here. And high mega cannon, I put a couple different places, but this will work. All right, um, skills. Emergency evasion system level one. So it has one dodge roll, which will completely overheat its thrusters if you use it. Flight control level three lets you boost and dash, or lets you boost and jump in midair. Uh, reduce thruster consumption by 50% when doing that. Anti-blast stabilizer, so if it's standing next to something that you blow up, it will not get heavy staggered. Balancer, so it can go into melee at, uh, directly out of boost. Maneuver armor one, so instant stuns are not enough to stun it when it is uh, boosting. Force injector level two, so it can change directions when boosting relatively uh, efficiently. Melee combo controller uh, level one, which is a two uh, hit melee combo. Um, so we'll have to see about the rifle, but since it did not say it does not, it prevents melee or it's not compatible with melee combo controller, I think you'll be able to get two uh, swings out of that as well. We'll find out. Shield tackle level one, extra tackle damage if you still have your shield. Wing special cushioning level two, if anything hits your wings, you uh, take 15% less damage. Release uh, ranged output limiter, which is the two level charge uh, attack. And transform flight, obviously, and detransformation optimizer increases turning performance when changing from a transformed state back to normal. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, you've probably seen in some of the videos, especially when I'm playing Zeta Gundam, that the ability to turn as you transform back, very, very useful. So yeah, this actually does it a little faster. That's interesting. Okay, so in Wave Rider mode, it has uh, emergency evasion still. Has shock dampeners, so yeah, uh, harder to... Uh, reduces or cancels stagger after being attacked, yeah, so... Unless it gets tackled or hit with a downswing, it's going to be harder to stop. Enough build stun will do it. Still has anti-blast, so if somebody explodes as you crash into them, not going to stop you. Uh, wing special cushioning, same deal as uh, mobile suit mode. Transformation optimizer reduces thruster gauge consumption when activating high speed movement or transforming back to normal mode by 60%. Reduces thruster gauge consumption while moving by 25%. Not bad. Same transform skill and ram attack while transformed. High speed movement damages any target collided with. So, yeah, that's the default version, not the fancy one that uh, Zeta gets in biosensor mode or anything like that. All right, so this looks pretty good. I, again, I like the Zeta Plus series, so I'm looking forward to trying this out. But we are going to take this into the normal, uh, into the normal stage and try the normal things and see what we can find out about it. All right, so we are going to, yeah, we're going to take a look at everything it can do. Hopefully, hopefully I don't forget anything. Well, Ready to begin? it's weird that it lags more loading that up on a, on a single player test, uh, uh, test drive than it does on, uh, it does on, uh, a, uh, you know, multiplayer round, but oh well. Okay, so... Takes about two uncharged shots to uh, stun some uh, something without any special stun protection. That's not bad. Um, I'll do this again after it reloads because this is not going to give us an accurate picture of uh, how many rounds of ammo uh, it takes to do the charged shot. Let's try that again. And it takes. Two okay, it is two shots for every charge shot. Charges fairly quickly. It does stun straight out. So yeah, um, it's not a terrible... Uh, okay, Vulcans are good and fast. I like that. And they reload relatively quickly. Um, let's go hit this Zok with the double beam cannon. 
yeah, this looks pretty good. Um, okay. Okay, so yeah, it's the be double beam cannon is a s relatively slow firing instant stun weapon, which means it is not going to function against the Zok particularly well. As you saw, it was about a quarter of the uh, uh, build uh, stun accumulated stagger gauge. Um, and yeah, instant stun on things that do not have shock damage. All right, so let's take a look at melee patterns here. Um, okay, that's an interesting... Let me do that again. I didn't... Okay, that is a very interesting uh, uh, neutral swing. A, a low arcing swing. That could be very useful. That could be a little bit unpredictable. Left and right are fairly standard, and the downswing is the, uh, the cross slash that a lot of things have had. That's not bad. All right, let's see. The uh, yeah, the long beam saber is still a uh, still just a a uh, you know nice linear stab with the bayonet. It can combo, and the downswing. I'm hoping it has the Zeta downswing and not the Zeta three th uh, A downswing. Nope, three A. Okay, fair. I prefer to have the lunge than the swing like the Zeta does, because this, you know, you have to target this a little better. But if you start with the uh, stab and go to the, uh, go to the, you know, wide swing, it's a lot easier to hit a, you know, fairly wide swath of things in front of you. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. Let's go... Well, let's take a look at the uh, high mega cannon. We'll try we'll try it on the Zoc and see what we get. Charges required. There's level one. 2301. Half a gauge build stun against a Zoc, which is not bad. I am sure it will uh, it will uh, stun the Gundam outright. But let's take a look at how we do with the uh, with the ch uh, double charge. Gear. Okay, not a lot of damage. It kind of, uh, uh, I think it reminds me the most of the mass production double Zetas uh, high mega cannon. Because, okay, and that, yeah, that blew, that hit the shield, but I think it did stun. I'm going to try that again because I want to see if I'm right and it stuns at level one on, on most targets. Yes, it does. All right, 3107 against a uh, general that is uh, 100 points below it, so... And now we'll try the second level charge and see what that looks like. 4435 and heavy stagger. And doesn't overheat it. That is not a bad set of uh, not a bad set of uh, qualities to have in a single weapon, honestly. So Yeah. Okay, one, two, yeah. It'll stun even a Zoc in two shots. The charged version also does about half a uh, gauge worth of stun, as if it were about the same as the uncharged. But that means going from that to that is not enough. I think going from the single charge hyper mega launcher to the uh, uncharged rifle will be enough to stun something like a Zoc. Yes, that's not bad. Okay, yeah, there's that. All right, some of the other skills, you've probably seen them before, but just in case, um, it does have force injectors. So yeah, you can change directions a few times without totally overheating your uh, thrusters. Uh, it has the uh, mid-air uh, control, so you can jump while you're boosting. I can do that without overheating, I hope. There we go. Yeah, right before I touched down, I actually got the second jump off. But yeah, you can jump in mid-air, and you can also boost in mid-air. Uh, it also has emergency evasion controller, so yeah, there's the dodge. Uh, and from here, it's looking at how the trans uh, how the uh, transformation skills. Work. All right, so we will transform. Rifle is, as I said, the same. Ram attack does two thousand. That's actually pretty good. Uh, a lot of things, I believe, only do one thousand when you land with that. Oh yeah. Um, also, let's look at the counter, which is. Ah, just a good, you know, sta uh, like standard melee combo. That's fine. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Oh, yeah, the uh, beam guns from flight mode. They are going to fire faster and do uh, build stun. Yeah, 
fairly fast build stun, too. That's not bad. All right, so is there anything else to look at? I think for the most part... Oh, yeah. Want to look at that turn speed skill. So here we are. We are in the air. We are transforming. Uh, we are transformed. We are transforming back. And, yeah, you, did you see how fast that turn was as I uh, changed back? It is not that fast on Zeta Gundam or things without this skill. So, yeah. You can do almost a complete 180 by uh, transforming back here. Yeah, like at the very end of the jump, it actually is a 180. So there's just a little bit of a pause to, like, just as you land. It, so. All right, so we've got a general uh, sense of what this can do. It is a, uh, it is a Zeta Descended General suit, so... You know, it has most of those capabilities. It looks good. I would I would not mind uh, getting this for myself, but we'll see what happens. All right, so now we are going to uh, try a little bit of real fighting and turn on the enemy AI. One, two, that was enough of that. Okay, yeah, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of hard to aim the, like, lunging part of the uh, downswing if it comes second. So it was, in fact, difficult to use. But, uh, yeah, so you may not be able to land that, but you can land plenty else. Yeah, those Vulcans are really good. Damage is solid, and build stun's not bad. They are fast, and they reload fast. So that is a, an excellent set of qualities for head Vulcans to have. Pretty much the ideal. I mean, a little bit faster and a little bit more build stun is out there for certain things, but seems... Well, caught it in the elbow. I'll take that. It was not ready to tackle me. That's interesting. Okay, yeah. Again, the reach on that bayonet is really excellent. I didn't realize it would reach... Yeah, I didn't think it was going to get quite that far. Yeah, thought it might... Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I think your body is part of the hitbox for the downswing, so I think my shield clipped that uh, crate, and it counted. Yep. So, uh, and yeah, and it's fairly fast besides. So, yeah, this has all this is this is pretty much the kind of uh, transforming general I really enjoy. You pr you probably saw me, you know, writing about the, or writing, uh, talking about the Zeta Gundam at, in the video I did. Uh, Late last week, early this week, I forget which. I think it was late last week. But, yeah, the, uh, okay, yeah, first, uh, that's, the two-hit downswing means first a hit broke the shield, second one broke the Gundam. That's pretty good. But, yeah, it is, uh, it's got a good set of, uh, it's got a good skill set. It's fast. It's pretty versatile, because you have good attack options at every conceivable range. A variety of fast-working stuns. Yeah, and the Zox's big enough you can hit both uh, halves of the downswing. So yeah, this is... I like it. I, I like it a lot, and I'm going to try a double char, uh, charge and hope I can hit them both. And I can. Yeah, so yeah, it's definitely, again, like the a lot like the mass production double Zeta, in that the, uh, the damage... the sustained damage beam, not very... Uh, not very lengthy. But... It does heavy stagger things, and that is, of course, a very useful thing to have. Especially since you can move while charging it, which not all things with the Garobi type weapon can do. Yeah, not bad. And you have plenty enough time to start building up more stun after somebody, uh, after using the, uh, uh, after using the hyper me high mega cannon. Okay, and. Yeah, you can tell I'm actually, like, halfway decent at this kind of suit because I have not taken a death yet blowing up all these mobile suits. So, you, you've you seen how my test drives do. I, I'm not usually th this effective with things. And, yeah, that's the other thing. I was just using the turn previously, but the fact that you also have air boost means that you have a lot of pretty good uh, options for repositioning as you want. As long as you don't run out of boost like I just did. Okay, I am missing that Gundam. Uh, this is what I get for bragging, because, yeah, now I am missing all my shots and getting stabbed, which, you know, not ideal. Not ideal, but also, you know, not unusual. There's that. 
Let's just go straight for the downswing. Okay, yeah, only, I think only the upper body has a uh, has a hitbox there for the downswing, because, yeah, that otherwise, like, my kneecap lodged in the Gundam's spine should have been a useful thing. And the Gundam was uh, caught mid-animation, so fairly easy to capitalize on that. Okay, swing. Yep, okay. Yeah, the... the this is, okay, the Zock's gonna overpower me here, if the Gundam doesn't, but yeah, this has enough, enough tricks, enough speed, enough power that you can keep a stun, uh, you can keep stuns going and reposition pretty effectively. It's a good suit. I, I like it. So yeah, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2 test drive. Good luck to everyone that wants the Zeta Plus A2. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!